Hello, and welcome back to Paul and Lynn's Ride to Devil's Bridge and Beyond, Part 3. Right, so we've just gone through Long Preston. This is the A65, heading out towards um, Ingleton now. This, this part takes us to Ingleton, where we, uh, we needed some fuel. Right, so I was, I was just saying um, to um, on the previous uh, part about my motorcycle or motorcycling history, and there I was in uh, July 1981, having passed my uh, motorcycle test, and now I can get rid of my L plates, and I am set free. Oh, I remember that day very well. Oh, I do. What a wonderful day. And then, uh, as I've recently said to uh, a friend, a very, very um, long, long time friend, um, almost family really, uh, Dazza. Look him up, Dazza. D A Double Z A. He's just uh, passed his test. He's got a MT-07 Yamaha. Don't know much about that bike. In fact, I don't much know much about any bike, really, apart from what I've had. Um, but Dazza is, has just joined the A-Team. And uh, look him up. He's a chef. He's a good lad, he's Dazza. So... Um, where was I? Yeah, so um, one of the things that uh, that I did, I couldn't wait to do after passing my test, was to jump on a motorway, um, which, of course, as a learner, you weren't allowed to go on. And uh, so I remember <laughs> jumping on it. Um, Anyone who's round this from round this area knows will know it. I jumped on the M sixty one near Botany Bay. What well, I don't think Botany Botany Bay was was Botany Bay then, but um, anyway, where Botany Bay is now, I jumped on the M sixty one, and and it where it joins the M six, and then I came off at Junction thirty one, Salisbury. So that was just just enough, just to get the feel of uh, of riding what was for me high speed. I mean, this is a ninety cc uh, Honda, three speed sem uh, semi automatic. Really, we're automatic clutch. Anybody who's uh, knows the bike, C C ninety. As you depress the heel and toe gear um, lever the uh, the clutch disengaged so so yeah it um, as I said semi semi automatic so there I was on the motorway probably doing uh, I don't know 40 40 miles an hour and uh, that that would have seemed really really fast and of course the motorways were a lot quieter then you know I'm going back 35 years now really um, so it's a long time and uh, they were also in better condition but we won't go there um, so yeah, uh, I remember being pulled up, I think a total of three times by the police, because they were just checking that I was actually on a, a motorway legal bike, because if it was a C50, um, 49cc, it would have been uh, illegal to ride on a motorway. 
because you know they're not capable of um, maintaining motor motorway speeds. But of course, I was only ninety, so no problem. And uh, but one time I did get pulled, and I was talking about this to Dazza uh, recently, and he, he seems to remember about it. I certainly remember it. I remember a police car overtook me with blues, blues uh, flashing, sirens. I think he had sirens on. Near the M6, on the M6 near Birmingham. And I pulled in on the hard shoulder, because he did. And uh, I now know that he would have been behind me if he'd pulled me. But he was in front, so there I am. I get off my bike and he asked me what I was doing. So I said, oh, haven't you pulled me? So he says, no. Oh, no. One of those embarrassing moments. You know, I, pre I just presumed that he was uh, pulling me. So why he had these sirens on or, or blue flashing lights, I don't know. But anyway, he wasn't pulling me. So I thought, oh, bloody hell. So go good fun. So there we were, because I, I used to, I mean, the first time, I went down to Midlands, I went down to my um, lovely Auntie June, um, oh I miss Auntie June, I really do, uh, she, they lived in um, in Sutton Coalfield at that time, which is near Birmingham, and uh, I remember going down to, um, to June's in 1981, but before I passed my test, so it would have been sort of springtime, and uh, I remember uh, going down all the A roads, the A49 round Wigan, and uh, on the A34 going through Stone and Stafford, and I've often wondered about doing the route again, you know, uh, down to... Um, uh, Brown Hills, you know, all around there, and uh, I, I really thought it, you know, it was a big achievement, being, be, you know, riding all that way, you know, from um, from Blackburn down to Sutton Coalfield, you know, you were talking, you know, just just over a hundred miles. Uh, I'm sure by the time you've done the air road, so you know, it, it was quite a way. And uh, I, uh, and then I did it uh, on on the motorway the next time, which was uh, not as fun, you know, not not nowhere near as uh, as good fun, but it got me there a bit quicker. And uh, but one of the uh, one of the funny times when uh, on the motorways uh, I went down to the motorcycle show, and I think it would have been nineteen eighty three. I think at the NEC in Birmingham, and uh, I took my mate Alan um, down on the bike on the on the ninety, which was, by that time it was a wire age, nineteen eighty two. I bought that one, and uh, and <laughs> we uh, that was that was quite a trip. Um, you know, two up. I mean, I were a lot lighter, probably about nine stone. I'm, Probably is about 17 stone now, um, so you know eight eight stones lighter, and uh, and Alan was was very very light, but he was tall. So and I'm you know five foot, nearly six foot. So that was quite a journey uh, to go down on the bike. But hey, we went, we did it, and um, oh, it was great, absolutely great. These are memories that, that you get with your bike, and, and and if you're watching this, Dazza, this is what you're in for. I mean, you know, I remember some of my some of my sort of memories as a as a single chap riding uh, riding my bike in, in, involved uh, Dazza, you know, because he, he worked in a hotel in the Lake District, and in 1983 was during a scorcher of a summer. Uh, I used to uh, meet with him at uh, his place of work, which was Stores Hall, and um, 
you know so that that links with the bike and so the memories that that can be made on a bike are, are tremendous and this is what uh, Daz is in for now he's he's in for a, an absolute treat because the community the biking community is absolutely fabulous wherever you live uh, and now with the addition of YouTube well you know it's gone worldwide hasn't it it's uh, you know the the, uh, the fact that I've reached 500 videos and um, I've got a tiny audience compared to some people um, but I'm happy with what with what audience I've got if they if they enjoy whatever audience I have if they enjoy what we do and I certainly enjoy what they do well then how good's that brilliant so thank thank goodness for YouTube so yeah um, so so I did uh, I did some did some touring on uh, on the Honda 90s. The longest journey I think was down to Great Yarmouth. Um, I did that in '82 and '83. And um, uh, after you've uh, you've got around the Newark area, after you know from the A1M down to Newark in Nottinghamshire, um, it's all A road. So you know there's no once you've got down there there's no motorway so you know you were looking at probably eight hours riding time to get there and uh, but it was part of my holiday and I used to have a flask in, in the back top box and I used to have uh, you know coffee in this flask and uh, I probably had a food flask with some soup in to, to have on the way down so marvellous you know I, I I'm tempted to say that you just you just wouldn't have those experiences on in a car. You just wouldn't. You know, you wouldn't think of driving in your car on your own. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm sort of you know, it's just me. But to me, a car is just a a way to get you from A to B. It's not a it's not something that you take pleasure in uh, like like a bike, you know. But as I say, maybe I'm wrong. So, aye, so there we are. So then, as I said, in uh, 1984, um, met Lynn. I knew Lynn from school, so we'd known each other practically all our lives. Um, and uh, she was uh, a two-wheel fan. She had a, a little uh, moped thing, like called a Gorelli, that which spent most, most times in the... Uh, in the garage than not um, sadly because uh, it wasn't very reliable so so then in 19 in 84 in um, April of that year we uh, we bought the Honda CM 200 twin first bike with a clutch four-speed gearbox and uh, we did our Wait for it, an old fashioned term coming up. We did our courting on that bike. Fantastic. We went to Scotland, we went to Perth in one journey from Blackburn to Perth in Scotland, which anyone who's done that knows what kind of journey that is. But again, we did it in one because we were young. We were only 21. Well, I was 21, Lynn was 20. So happy days you know so I'll continue with that story on 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 the next part I so say we're, we're on the a65 here and uh, not too bad on a on a Saturday it gets busy on us on a Sunday there's still plenty of bikes out but um, the actual day for going to the uh, to the bridge at devil the devil's bridge at Kirby Lonsdale is um, is Sunday the, the parking is actually um, motorcycles only, which is which is great. So, but I love it round here. There's so many little, little roads off. Um, you know, as I said, the um, from Ingleton, if you want to, um, you know, go up past White Sky Caves, 
done that recently on the K1600. So if you search for for that, um, I think it's Ingleton to Gorba Road. That takes you past the Ribblehead Viaduct. But if you look in the Yorkshire uh, playlist, um, you'll you'll see all those videos. You know, so it's uh, it's a pleasure riding around here, and they're good roads. So, and this road, the A65, is is an alternative to using the motorway to get up into the Lake District. Because if you carry on as far as this road goes, it brings you to Junction 36 of the M6. So, yeah, beautiful scenery, absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah. So what do I think of the bike so far? Well, can I say, as I speak now, we've done just over 1400 miles since the 30th of, of um, April. This is the 2nd of May um, on the video, but today is the 20th of May that I'm actually editing this. So, so yeah. Uh, it's great to be back on. I mean, um, just one or two bits and pieces left to get on the bike. The tank cover needs to go on yet. Uh, that will allow the fitting of the tank bag and protecting the tank itself. So, looking forward to getting that. Right, see you on the next part. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.